Hello ladies and gents, welcome to Workout Wednesday, I'm Stu Strello. I would just like to say a massive well done for, to all those people that took part, uh, shared it, liked it and commented. Thank you very much, it means a lot guys, keep those videos coming. So then, last week's workout had a competition element to it, okay? And what we were looking for was the fastest male and the fastest female, ages 16 and above, and the fastest boy and the fastest girl, ages 15 and below, okay? So the winner for the fastest male and the fastest female, 16 and above, was Dan Gillies, who did it in a time of 15.27. So awesome time there, mate, good effort. Um, and Amy Kerr did it 18.13. Okay, absolutely smash me as well from what you considered while posting a workout last week. Guys, you've won yourself a free Hydrate Mate bottle, okay? So send your details into us, guys, and we'll get them posted out to you, okay? The next part of the competition was, um, for all those people that shared the workout, your names will be taken and post, put on a bit of paper and put into the bowl, okay? So I've got all those names in there now. Okay, all I'm gonna do is pull one from random, okay? I've got it here in my hands, and that person, who I, who I read out now, okay, wins an hour's PT session with myself at the Dover District Leader Centre when it reopens, okay? And that is Rebecca Stone. Good effort, mate, okay? Get in contact with me um, and we arrange a time and date when the new, when the uh, Leader Centre opens up, okay? We'll get you in there, we'll get you doing a bit of PT. Let's have a look at today's overload circuit. Here it is then, okay? Quick opportunity to take a screenshot, just a quick reference whilst you're doing the workout. Let's see how this works. So what I've given you here then, I've given you nine exercises here, grouped in two, first three being the upper body, middle three being the core and midsection, last three being the lower body, okay? The way it's gonna work is similar to workout one, so week one, cast your minds back to that. I've given you three rounds. So the first round is you're gonna do 35 seconds per exercise, then two minutes break, you'll then do round two, which is 30 seconds per exercise all the way down to the bottom. You'll then give yourself two minutes break again. And the last round is 25 seconds per exercise all the way down to the end, and that will be the end of the workout. Equipment you require for today's workout. So like I said before there, guys, I'm operating with a hard floor, so I've got myself a mat. If you're using a carpet, happy days, all I would say is just make sure when you lie down and do some of the core exercise games, you're not going to aggravate your back, okay, by lying on a piece of Lego or something like that. I've also got myself a dining room chair, and I have myself some weights, and I've improvised, guys. All I've done here is I've got, I've got myself a load of flour in one, a load of rice in the other, and they weigh roughly the same, okay, so I can use these improvised weights. And as you can see, Sam is making best use of the mat whilst I'm talking. So then, before we start this workout, we've got to run through a little bit of health and safety. First one being, we've got to ask ourselves, are we hydrated? Have we eaten enough today already, okay? So when we talk about hydration, have we peed clear at least once already today, okay? And the second one is, have we had enough food today? I have we had breakfast, have we had good sort of complex carbohydrates, enough fuel just to get us through this workout? The last question we've got to ask ourselves, do we have any injuries? Guys, if you do have any injuries, please do consult your GP just to make sure that you're okay to take part in this workout. Guys, also, as I said before, if you do have any injuries and you do need some adaptations with these exercises, please private message me and I will then try my hardest to find out exercises for you so you can then sort of do just to replace those exercises you can't do, okay? Um, happy days. Let's get this party started. So then, before we start this workout, let's get ourselves warmed up. So what you're gonna to need to do now, guys, is gonna get yourself into a bit of space, okay? Have a quick move around with the arms, make sure you're not gonna to touch any, anybody or anything, okay? You don't wanna go knocking anything over or anything like that, okay? Once we're happy with that, we're gonna get ourselves jogging on the spot. So whilst we're jogging on the spot then, let's start punching out to the front, flicking those fingers. Up to the sky. Down to the ground. Out to the sides. Out to the front, up to the sky, down to the ground, out to the sides, out to the front, up to the sky, down to the ground, out to the sides, and gently jogging on the spot there. Both hands out to the side, then let's start rotating those hands forward, making small circles. Let's make them bigger, let's make them bigger. All the way then, big circles then, guys, let's try and get those biceps brushing past the and the front past the thigh. Let's make them smaller, let's make them smaller. Let's make them smaller and small circles to the rear. Let's make them bigger. Let's make them bigger. All the way then, big circles then, guys. Let's make them smaller. Let's make them smaller. Let's make them smaller. And gently jogging there then. 
So we're going to pretend we're in a swimming pool there. We're going to do big breaststroke movements. We're going to push all the way to the front. Let's go all the way to the rear as far as we physically can, as far as flexibility allows. Then it's a backstroke then, one arm at a time. Then it's a front crawl, push it all out to the front. And then butterfly, both arms going forwards. Time's working on a bit of coordination then, so we're going to go left arm going forward, right down to the rear. That's it, big circles. Let's go right arm going forward, left arm going to the rear. And gently jogging there, slow it down and steady hop there. So we're going to go feet short apart, slight flex in the knees. We're going to go both hands onto the lower back. We're going to stick our chest out as far as we can. Let's try and bring those elbows together then and get a good stretch across the chest. Making sure that we're keeping our belly tucked in when we do this, guys. And we're going to be holding these for six to ten seconds and slowly release out of that. Let's bring the left arm across the front of the uh, body then. Right arm above both the elbow. Pull the arm in towards the body, feel the stretch in the shoulder area. Let's get a good stretch through there. And we can increase that if need be by looking over the shoulder with stretching. And release out of that, quick shake off, change arms. And slowly come out of that. So we go both hands out to the front, then we're interlocking those fingers, pushing out to the front as far as we can, really open up that back. Pushing forwards, keeping the chin off the chest. And releasing out of that, guys. And back to jogging on the spot again. So then, we're going to reach out to the front. We're going to take hold of that magic rope ball. We're going to twist the way to the left-hand side, back to the front, we're to the right-hand side. Big rotational movements. Making sure that the head follows where the hands go, where the trunk goes. Good. And gentle jogging there. Let's start flicking the toes out to the front slightly then. Let's bring those knees up to the front slightly. And heels to the rear slightly. And gentle jogging there. We're going to turn to the side and we're going to do some side steps, guys. So we're going to go side steps like so, and then side steps the other way, okay? And we're going to do that four times, guys. Good. Get on those toes. Now let's get those arms involved. Good. That's it, point of those fingers. And gentle jog in there, slowing it down, and steady hop there. So we'll look at a slight bit of mobility there, guys, okay? So from here, we're gonna get ourselves down to the floor into the press up position like so. Okay, keeping the shoulders in around where the hands are. From here, we're gonna push back into downward facing dog. Head down for the shoulders as far as you can go. Nice deep breaths. Or as far as flexibility allows, even. We're then come back into the press up position, then, keeping the shoulders over, stacked over the hands, we're bringing the hips down towards the ground. I'm just going to look forward, get a good stretch of the core. And then back up into the press up position, we're then going to walk forward. We're then going to get ourselves into the deep squat position, guys, okay? So, what we're looking for is this. We want feet shoulders apart, feet flat on the floor, okay? If we struggle to get ourselves down to this position, okay? Let's get ourselves seated down like so. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet together, elbows and sides, the knees like so, and we're gonna apply a slight bit of pressure downwards, guys, okay? Sitting up nice and tall. But for the people that can do the deep squat, we're gonna get ourselves down like so. We're gonna dip the right elbow down and lift the left arm up into the sky. Just gonna turn the hips, what's applying pressure on the knee there? Nice deep breaths, don't go holding your breath. And then back down towards the centre, then up the other side. And back down towards the centre, we're going to do it again. Try and get a little bit further if we can. And then back down towards the centre, up the other side for the last time. Cool, and back down towards the centre. And let's stand back up again, okay? We're going to take a big lunge to the rear with the right foot, then hips nice and square on, body nice and upright. And stand up out of that, let's go down the other side. And come up out of that, guys. 
and back on the squat. Let's have a look at the neck whilst we're doing a little bit of mobility as well, okay? So looking forward then, guys, let's turn our head to the side, okay? We're gonna come back towards the center over the other side, okay? And we do some head turns there. We do five each side, so that's three, four, five. We're then gonna look down at the shoulder, we're then gonna look high opposite, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. Go down to the other side, then low, and go opposite high. One, two, three, four, five. Happy days. And back to joining the spot then, guys. So let's start flicking those toes out to the front then. Knees back up to the front. Heels to the rear. Knees back up to the front. Toes out to the front. And gently jogging there. So I'm going to throw another drill in then, guys. If you hear me pull out the body part, once you let the body part touch the floor. So if I say left hand down, left hand touches the floor. Right hand down, right hand touches the floor. Etc. Okay, let's go. Left hand, right hand, both hands. Jump up in the air. Left hand, right hand, both hands. Jump up in the air. Slow it down and steady heart there, guys. Let's do some stretches for the lower body then, okay? So then, use a partner, use the wall if you need to. Let's grab hold of the lazy part of the right trainer. Let's bring the heel towards the bum and push your hips forward, okay? Trying to keep those knees close together but not pinned in, okay? Stretching the quads here. That's it, good stretch then. Last few seconds, and let's come out of that, change sides. And release out of that. Let's take a pace forward our left foot then. We're gonna sit back onto the right like so. Hands on a fleshy part of the right thigh, okay? So what we're looking for is the bent thigh, the straight leg, sticking this out as far as we can. Obviously, the more we stick the hips out, the more we're gonna feed it in the hamstrings, of the back part, the upper, uh, upper part of this leg here, the straight leg. Now we're gonna raise the toes towards the sky, just to get into the calf, so the lower part of the back of that leg. The last few seconds then, and slowly come out of that, quick shake off, change sides, okay? So remembering the more you stick your bum out, the more you're gonna feel it in the hamstrings up here, guys, okay? So let's raise the toes towards the sky. And slowly come out of that. And back to jogging on the spot again for the last time. Let's start flicking the toes out to the front, then punch it out to the front at the same time. Let's go knees up to the front, punch it up to the sky. Let's get those knees right up there, guys. Heels to the rear, punch it out to the sides. Knees back up to the front. Punch it up to the sky. Toes out to the front. And gentle jog in there. Left hand touch the floor. Right hand touch the floor. Bum touch the floor. Extend the legs, stand back up again. Chest down towards the ground. On your feet up, carry jog again. Upper back, on your feet up, jogging in the spot. This time then guys, okay? When I call out the command of standby go, I wanna see you sprinting on the spot as fast as you can, or as I count down from 10 down to one. Standby, go sprinting then guys. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and gentle jogging there, nice deep breaths, a little bit of a pulse raiser for you guys. We're gonna do it again, we're gonna go from five down to one. Okay, stand by, go, five, four, three, two, one, and slow it down there, nice deep breaths, and steady hold there, and that's the warm up complete. Take two minutes to do any other stretches you might need to do, grab yourself a drink of water, and let's get this workout started. So then, exercise number one is gonna be an exercise called push up and push back. So yeah, we got ourselves onto our mat area. Come on, Sam, we have to get. Come on, come on. From here then, we got ourselves in the press up position then. This time, unlike last time, okay, we're gonna go for feet shoulders apart, shoulders stacked over the hands, okay? All we're then gonna do is squeeze in the glutes as hard as we can, keeping the core nice and tight as we come down. We come down as far as we can, as far as strength allows, we push back up, okay? We then go into push back position, okay? So our knees do not touch the floor, okay? Press up, push up, push back. 
Guys, for those people that are working on the press-ups, can we can still work on the negatives. We come all the way down as far as we can, we push up on the knees, we then come back up on the toes, we then push back like so, okay? So we come down, knees on the floor, push up and push back. Remember guys, okay, with those elbows, making sure that they go back at that 45 degree angle at the shoulder, okay? Don't want to see any of them press-ups out there, okay, with that internal rotation. Don't want to see none of that. And remember the press up as well. When you push up, let's get those pits on his elbows facing forward as well. Okay, screwing those hands into the ground as much as we can. And that there is exercise number one, push up and push back. Exercise number two is the chair reverse dip. So, using the chairs, and I've gone and got myself another chair. I place the hand on top of the chair like so, so the top of the hand's facing up the most. Okay, I then walk my feet out. I keep a slight bend of the knees there just to protect the, the, the back of the knee itself. Okay, I'm then going to lower myself down, try and break the 90 at the elbow, okay? From here, I then push back up, big squeeze of those triceps, okay, as I straighten the arm, I then come back down here, okay? Try and keep my bum and back as close to the chair as possible, okay? With, with this then, guys, similar sort of thing to the press up, okay? As I bend and I push back up, I'm screwing so the pits of the elbow faces forward, guys, okay? Create torque within that shoulder, that's where we want to be at, guys, okay? That there is exercise number two for the upper body, Chair reverse dip. Exercise number three is going to be front raise to side raise, okay? So with this, we're now going to pick up our improvised weights, guys, okay? So from here, we grab all the weights. Please make sure if you're going to use weights like I'm using here, okay, that the lids are firm, and the last thing you want to do is start dropping this stuff all over the place. It's not going to be cool at all, okay? So from here, we go feet shoulder apart, slight flex in the knees. We're going to squeeze our bum as high as we can. we bring the weights down to the sides, okay? We're going to stick our chest out. From here, we're going to raise up to the front. We go out to the sides, we lower at the sides, okay? We go from the sides to the side again, okay? Out to the front, and then back down again. So up to the front, out to the sides, down to the sides. Up to the sides, out to the front, down from the front. I'm gonna rep out like so, guys, ensuring we're squeezing those glutes, that core, keep that core nice and tight throughout the whole movement. And that there is exercise number three, front raise to side raise. Exercise number four then, reverse crunch. So we're gonna get ourselves down onto our matted area or the carpet, okay? We're gonna lay down like so. We're gonna go hands out to the side, feet six inches off the floor, pointing those toes, okay? From here, we're gonna roll up, push up towards the sky, and then back down again, okay? Ensuring those feet do not touch the floor, okay? For those people who wanna take it to another level, what we can do is we can put a bit of a twist in it when we get to the top. For those people that might need to regress it, okay, they literally need to bring those knees up, make sure it's a controlled movement, guys. Do not use momentum when we're doing this, okay? So we're looking to really start targeting that core area, okay? That there is exercise number four, reverse crunch. Exercise number five, mountain climbers. So we're gonna get ourselves down to the press up position. From here, we're gonna ensure the shoulders are sacked over the hands, okay? Make sure that the arms are nice and straight. From here, we're going to bring the knees up to the elbows, and ensure that front foot does not touch the floor, okay? And we're going to rep out like so, okay? For those people who need to take it back a pace, okay? Just walk out, guys, okay? Ensure that front foot doesn't touch the floor, like I said. For those people who want to mix it up, let's bring the opposite knee to the opposite elbows, okay? Like so. Tendencies are with this exercise to start pushing back when we're doing it, okay? But try as hard as you can, keep those shoulders over those hands, guys. And that there is exercise number five, mountain climbers. Exercise number six is gonna be a nice isometric hold for you guys called the dish hold. So, we're gonna get ourselves down to the floor. We're gonna raise the feet six inches off the floor, okay? We're also gonna bring the shoulders off the floor as well, okay? Ways to make it easy, if need be, okay? We can have the hands underneath the bum or like so, okay? But for the majority of us, let's roll the things up. We can either go hands like so, or we can make it a little bit more higher, okay? Get the hands above the head, create a nice dish position there, okay? Big squeeze of the core, ensuring that we take nice deep breaths when we're holding that hold there, okay? And that there is exercise number six, the last one for the core exercises, guys, the dish hold. So then, let's begin with the lower body exercises, okay? Exercise number seven is gonna be a pistol squat progression, okay, using the dining room chair. So, I'm gonna get myself sat down on the chair, with this, my recommendation is to make sure we're doing this barefoot as best as you can, okay? I'm using barefoot shoes, so sort of mimics that anyway, okay? All I'm then gonna do from here is make sure the heel is in line with the ledge of the chair. I'm gonna place one foot out of the front, okay? And I like to work my weak side and my less preferred side first. From here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, I'm gonna slightly lean forward, okay? Get the weight to the toes and then stand up like so, okay? Come back down again. 
change over legs. Leg out to the front, back nice and straight, slightly lean forward, stand up, work out balance element, okay? And then sit back down, okay? And all I'm gonna do is just rotate alternately on each leg, working on those pistol squats. To make it easier, what we can do is we can raise the height of this chair. To make it harder, we can then start decreasing that. We can then start to look to do then, but uh, just on your own body weight, work on that uh, balance element when we're in that sort of low end position, okay? And that there is exercise number seven, the pistol squat progression. Exercise number eight is the multi-plane lunge. Okay, so from here, give yourself a nice bit of space in. You can take a big lunge forward, make sure those hips are nice and square on, body's nice and upright, that knee's not full of the toes. We then stand back up, we lunge down the other side, we then stand back up, we then lunge to the side. Principle's still the same, knee doesn't go forward of the toes, body's nice and upright, we stand up, we lunge to the other side, we stand up, we now do reverse lunges, we stand up, we stand up, and that is one rotation of the promoter plane lunge. We then go back to start again. So front lunges, front lunge, side lunge, side lunge, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, and so forth for the allocated time. And that there is exercise number eight, the multi-plane lunge. Exercise number nine is going to be thrusters. So then, we need our weights that we used before. We grab hold of our weights. From here, we go feet shoulders apart, okay? We got ourselves down into that deep squat position. From here, ensuring the elbows are nice and up as high as you can. As we stand up, we're gonna straighten the arms at the same time. So we stand up, screwing the feet into the ground, create a torque with the hips, remember? Push your hips forward, big squeeze of the core. And a big shoulder press. Try and keep those, your arms as close to the side of your head and pushing up as best as you can, okay? With a thrust up like so. To make the exercise easier, we can reduce the weight. We can just drive up with one weight. To make it harder, obviously we increase the weight there. That there is exercise number nine, thrusters. And that is the last exercise of the workout. So what you would then do now is have two minutes break, then go into round two. Once you've completed all three rounds, okay, that there is the end of the workout. What needs to happen now, we need to have a look at the cool down. So with the cool down, okay, what I require you to do is just walk around the room a few times, work on your breaths, some nice deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth, stand up nice and tall, okay, let's bring that heart rate down safely. Once we've done that, we're then going to have a look at those static stretches like we did in the warm up, okay, only this time we're going to hold those static stretches between 25 and 30 seconds, no more. Once we've completed all those static stretches, remember guys, let's get some good hydration on board, get some good fluids, get some juices on board, okay, just replace those electrolytes. And within an hour or so after training, let's get some good quality foods on board. And that there would then be the work, uh, end of the workout. Also with this workout, guys, just be mindful if you are new to training, okay, do not go beasting yourselves. It is normal to increase the heart rate, okay? It's normal to be blown a little bit, but any time we start sort of feeling dizzy or lightheadedness, okay, or start sort of feeling any sort of sharp shooting pains, we must stop. It's unacceptable to be training through that, okay? Guys, that is the end of it, okay? Um, please enjoy the workout. Please share, please comment, please give me feedback, okay? Let other people see it, let, let other people give it a go. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next week.